What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Um, you know, I haven't done Invicta recap in a little while. I must apologize, you know, between Chicago and then losing the replays. It was just like, blah, you know, some very boring wars, too, though. But, uh, anyways, got a bunch of replays I did want to jump in and show you um, from a couple of the last wars here. This one was, again, nothing too fantastic against this client called What World. Um, uh, they use 50 to 60 tags are pretty good much give it the best. There's always respect to the clans that that at least pretty much use all their attacks and, and give it their all. Uh, they struggle a little bit all the way down, as you can see. Uh, we did have some good successes up on, on top, and that was really nice to see from Invicta. Pretty much cleared it all the way down. Tunnel 10 missing there, but other than that... All the way down, number 30 is looking good. So we're just going to jump right in. Uh, like I said, no offense to Town Hall 9s, but Town Hall 10s had a lot of action this war. So definitely most of the recaps are going to go to them. Or sorry, replays, I should say. So let's just start off. Chad had a six-pack, I believe, in this war. Chad's just been a beast. I got the pleasure to meet this guy. He came with us to Chicago Live, which is awesome. We had just an awesome weekend. I watched Chad with my own eyes drop a rage spell with his nose because <laughs> we were trying to get him to to make his bowler attack with his face and he at the very least gave us the respect of dropping a rage spell with his nose and the place went wild it's like the highlight of the attacks <laughs> it's hilarious <laughs> anyhow uh, so chat's going in here he's getting a really good just kind of creating that funnel with the bowlers on the outside see only the one healer up there on the two bowlers just knows it's just enough um, fortunately, he does start to lose it a little bit. A lot of point defense in there. But the, f the funneling is done. That's really all that he wanted out of those couple bowlers he dropped out there. Same with the, the other side. Now, everything up the middle. A couple giants even in there. Head of those bowlers. Rest of the clan castle comes out. It's a little bit behind. He probably wanted to get... Well, he digs. He pulled out half of it. But... Um, you know, bad spawn for those minions, but Queen is right in there. She's going to mop those up. Healer's keeping those bowlers up. Healer's keeping everything going. Just got to take care of that Inferno, and we are looking pretty now. Down it goes. Down goes that Tesla. Queen's looking good. Has the healer switch over to her now? Just pretty key. Unfortunately, loses the rest of his bowlers to the bombs down there. Has this one on the outside, though, doing cleanup, and that kind of ended up being the clutch part of this attack. Because um, without... If there was nothing up here... Um, taking out like one two three four of those buildings i don't think this would have been a three star because time it comes ends up coming down to time here pretty much <clears throat> queen finally beats to that wall and then she's going to start opening up on these defenses here but if you see like only one wizard like chat must be like ugh, no way <laughs> at this point right but there's because there's just so much base left really like still 25 percent of the base to go <clears throat> but the queen just powers through waits till it aggros drops that wizard to help out down goes that stuff. Wizard takes care of the DE drill. Queen starts moving through the wall, of course, and then stops <laughs> once the army camp goes down and or whatever went down. That was so weird. She like stopped to hit the wall. Um, I got it in times two, so I must have missed something there. But she does some very strange things at times. But as you can see, tree stars in the bag. Nice job, chat. <laughs> Number seven is next. Uh, we're going to check out Yo-Yo. Another 10 on 10 action here. 22 bowlers he's bringing with 6 healers. <laughs> it's really, uh, it was a fairly uh, unanimous uh, talk at the leadership panel in Chicago. Uh, bowlers need a little bit of tuning. I mean, I don't want to like nerf them. You know, I was listening to Ashes kind of break down on them. and um, Nerfing them, yeah, I, I do think they need a very, very small, small nerf. Like, we're talking, like, baby, baby step. I thought increasing troop space back to 8 um, might kind of be the thing. and Or, sorry, to, to 7, not, not back to 8, but moving it up to 7, say, might be just enough. I don't think that would have a huge impact. Otherwise, don't change them at all, right? And see what that extra one troop space does. See if it's a little trickier, if you can only bring a few less bowlers. Um, I don't know. I think it's worth a try. It'd be such a minimal change that, uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to see how the progression of bowlers happens. Because one thing Ash suggested is making uh, other troops more successful and, <clears throat> or sorry, like more powerful. Not like crazy, but making air attack specifically a little more predominant. Uh, now I just feel this attack is just a little too spammy. Like it needs to, you need to have a little more 
um, fragility, I think, to the attack overall. It was just like when you were able to drop a bunch. Of, it, look, picture this back then with the witches. Yeah, you didn't even need the healers really with the witches. Um, you just drop 15 witches or whatever and three star. But it's still very similar. You just got to create the funnel on the other side, drop a handful of healers and bowlers, and away you go. And I know that doesn't work on every base, and there is a little bit of... You know, I don't know. I don't know the way to describe it, but they need a little bit of work. I'm not trying to say they need a crazy nerf. I just think they need a step back because it's pretty ridiculous the kind of bases they can smash through right now. And the Builder's Hut gives Yo-Yo a scare, but down it goes. The weak wall, beautiful. Tree in the bag. All right, number four. Good old Pinto. It's 11 on 11 here. Uh, good old box base. Uh, so Pinos gonna again 22, basically the same attack we just saw with the Oyo, um, but with a Grand Warden. So that doesn't bode well for this base because the Eagle Cannon, I mean, it's just it doesn't do enough. The bowlers really was made sort of I find for just the golems really and your heroes. But um, like look at this, you lost one bowler to an Eagle shot. Oh well, and that's gonna target something else. Like the splash didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, the bowlers need just a little step back. So 22 bowlers, picture this. So 22, if we increase it, that's 22 less troop space. So that means like three, maybe four less bowlers you're going to get in your army comp. I think it's worth a try. I don't even think that might be enough necessarily. But I'm thinking more at Town Hall 9, right? Because then you wouldn't be able to, to take... Um, uh, four bowlers in your CC. Um, what am I, man? I'm confusing myself right now. I don't know, but they they need to absolutely do something with bowlers. Like they just they just walk around right with healers. Nothing can trigger them. I mean, yeah, if they run into some bombs here, oh, did lose a couple there, but it doesn't matter. It's just so crazy. And the miners um, mopping things up. I love it. Absolutely love it. Sorry, I'm kind of blabbing on for these attacks, but. There's not a lot to say about the uh, mass bowler attack. So <clears throat> another builder's hut. Maybe giving a bit of a scare. Nah, he had lots of time. Smashed it. Tree in the bag for Pinno. Good job, buddy. Right, one more here. Oh, that's right. It's Maverick. Maverick just came back. He has been absolutely killing it for us in Invicta. This guy's just awesome. Same idea, though, right? We're dropping bowlers on either sides. Get that funnel created. Get everything into that base. Why does this... Oh, yeah, it does. Never mind. Uh, get it, get. But everything going right in this eagle, right? Uh, all the bowlers are going to move all in this little pack. And the splash damage from that eagle does not do a thing. He does hit that Grand Warden ability, I think, maybe a touch early. Um, I might have saved it for almost like this point right here when just when that Inferno starts locking onto stuff. Um, but uh, doesn't matter because he's got bowlers absolutely smashing this core. Everything just melting instantly, like just rolling that face over that iPad right now. Just absolutely getting good value out of these bowlers. They have they can reach everything, right? If you look at where these jumps are and the pathing that the bowlers are going to take, they can pretty much reach every part of the base. He doesn't have anything really going down at 6 o'clock, and that just kind of ends up being the cleanup, but... Gonna fast forward this as these bowlers continue to just smashy smashy. <laughs> Six healers. 26, 24 bowlers. Go. <coughs> it's all about the funnel though, guys. Still fundamentals of attacks. Never forget the funnel. Never, ever, ever. Especially with bowlers, I found now with this HGHB as well at Town Hall Nine, it um, it's so apparent that bowlers kind of do whatever they want. So the less options you give them, the better. Absolutely, nice job, Math. So good to have you back, buddy. You're just a beast. All right, enough of that. Check it. Oh, did lose this one more to this very suspicious clan. Their bottom three bases were Town Hall 5 and didn't make their attacks and were just mysteriously didn't exist in the game like very shortly after the war started, but I don't know. We won't go into that. Old school. 
put up a good fight actually you know um score didn't really dictate it but uh 79 to 80 of 80 attacks there so overall you know they gave it their best and again like i said the last one a lot of respect to guys to just give it their all uh give up a give a good war and put up a good fight um you know the score didn't necessarily dictate it but uh definitely appreciate you guys using all your attacks <clears throat> now big papa here had one i wanted to maybe we'll start down a little bit i think it was on 18 this is the one town hall nine i'm going to show you it's my man dirt it's the hghb seen a lot of this going around obviously it's such a powerful attack the uh you know the three star percentage is pretty insane so derp drops all the giants now i did one in the fysb uh, fysb war one thing you got to think about um a lot of times i two finger the giants to get them down quicker i spread them a little bit too far and they both converged on the same mortar but because they're on kind of opposite sides of the one mortar when the mortar went down, one pack went one way and one pack went the other way. And it completely screwed the rate. Because that's right when the CC came out, the CC split between the two. It just, it was a disaster from the get-go. So there's little things, right? Just get that entry down solid. Get the funnel down, funnel, funnel, funnel. And get those giants in and a pack in the base and it's over. <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. Bowler's in behind, right? Uh, brings the two heals. Doesn't even bring rages for them in here. Did he even... Where happened to those bowlers? Am I nuts? Am I nuts? I don't know, but he's got the whack of giants in there. All the healers are down. Um, this attack kind of actually went kind of crazy. I was blabbing on about the entry, and <laughs> he's got healers down in the hogs. <laughs> he throws. This raid must have went so wrong for derp. Now that I'm like really paying attention... <laughs> I don't know. I think things wandered down to this section, and he uh, kind of got split. <laughs> but anyhow, the heels are just enough. He has maybe three or four hogs in there under the heel. Uh, Queen is beating her way through a wall. Now, the nice part is the healers finally did, the, when the hogs passed by, the healers stopped and uh, locked onto the queen. So that was basically the saving grace of this, because the queen finally worked through the lab wall, and then the wizards killed those buildings. So what does she do? Let's turn around and work on the next level. <laughs> so she's standing there beating on it. It's definitely going to be GG. She's got those healers on her. Hits that ability. Just a matter of time now. Down it goes. That's tree in the bag for derp. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this looked like, yeah, the bowlers disappeared. The, the bowlers, the bowlers might have walked a little bit. Man, I was not paying attention to that one. So I swear they went right in, but... Um, Something must have melted them very, very quickly. I'm almost tempted to go back watch that. Um, what do we got here next? Ooh, 16. This is Gino. Guess what? More bowlers. Guess what? The exact same idea here, guys. Handful of bowlers on one side, healers. Handful of bowlers on the other side, healers. All the rest up the middle once the CC's out. Those poisons down. Take care of that. Let's get those heroes in there. Giants are ahead. Start soaking up some inferno shots. Bowlers go in under the rage. Absolutely melt everything here. Look how fast these buildings just smash. Town Hall, see ya. Everything else, see ya. <laughs> oh man, and that inferno tower just got absolutely wrecked there. Everything's kind of moving around. Just nice split. Got a nice chunk of uh, units up here. Nice chunk of units down there. Healers on both sides, kind of keeping everything going. Just absolutely <laughs> smashing his way through this base. Slowing down just a little bit once these bowlers start pincering down from this uh, 4 o'clock location. This base is absolutely good game. Queen still has her ability. Just these ring bases do not stand a chance against this attack. Nice and easy, guys, for any of you newer Town Hall 10s or 11s. I see these bases all the time. When I'm farming, Like I get mad because of the amount of bases. Because when I farm right now, I'm using... Um, I guess I changed a little bit. But I'm using uh, basically just a queen walk uh, with a bunch of archers. And it just never seemed like the, the Inferno Towers was in a crummy place, kind of hidden behind some big things. And... It just I hate them while I'm farming. So in war, that's how you smash them, guys. Absolutely three star every time. Um, let's move it up to. I have thirteen. Oh, spastic on my mouse there. So fence. Whoa, 
what are you doing here? There's actually a couple 2.0 guys. We just spun a potluck. Uh, finished the war actually today and unfortunately lost to FYSB. No big deal though. It's going to happen. And uh, it was a very close war, very fun war. Uh, our nines did fantastic. Our tens did pretty good as well. Like every, you know, it was just a good effort overall. Just FYSB. Just had that little extra, extra, I don't know what you want to call it. Edge. Not an edge. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so out of it today. It's not even funny. I had a, it's Canada day, day today and I um work obviously i run a restaurant and it's about three minutes from like the concert and celebration and i was the only manager today and yeah it was just a very long crummy day but love watching these bowlers just smash these cores right funnel gets laid down healers are in bowlers are wrecking everything nice little freezer catches that balloon even midair everything's now just working into this core another rage spell goes down healers keeping everything going Right, Inferno Towers are down, so no big deal. Those healers under Rage are just doing so much. Right, Golems still haven't even burst. Bowlers kind of get start getting uh, worked on over on this side, but they're still doing damage. Wrecking the buildings, just nice spread once it gets, once kind of everything kind of spreads out, right? And it just takes care of everything. Wizard is starting to force the bowlers in this uh, uh, counterclockwise rotation back up the side here, and it's definitely going to be a tree star. Loving the jump's about to run out, and your troop stands there for like five seconds and runs against the wall. Instead, oh well, look at this group of bowlers under the Grand Warden down here, just making their way around, smashing their way through. Miners are just wrecking. Love the miners, right? Like, with this attack, the miners are such a good complement. That's why, like, I don't know. That's why I've been talking this whole time. The bowlers need to be dumbed back. Because I believe, like, imagine if the bowlers were just more fragile or something. I don't know. It costs more troop space so you can have as many of them. You'd have to be a little more mindful of where you put them, right? Because if you lose them, that's the game, right? Like this with hogs. You know, you can get away with 14, 16 hogs, but if you send them all in and lose them, you're probably not going to come away with the three stars. So, I don't know. They need some tweaking. Definitely need, I think, more troop space. I don't think they necessarily need to change. I think they need to go back to eight troop space. That's my final answer. After all my rambling, this whole video, that's my final answer. Let's try bowlers at eight troop space again, now that we know what they can do. And yeah, go from there. Uh, I think I got two more to show you. What do I got? Eights. Good old big papa. I think we're on today. 11 versus 11. Um, eight miners, 21 bowlers, right? I love the eight miners. They're just like absolutely end up getting such good value as long as you deploy them very well and use them to supplement the bowlers. They're just perfect. So you see this base a lot too. That's how papa breaks it down. Uh, sort of same idea, right? Let's just get um, a few bowlers on either side and start creating the funnel for everything else. <clears throat> once he gets that 12 o'clock section down, that's great because he knows everything. And once he kind of gets these few buildings done, everything's going to go right into that next compartment. Jump spell goes down, opening it up. Now, he's going to lose a little bit to the outside of the here, but no big deal. Bam, bam, bam. Once all that stuff gets smashed. Everything's going to continue to move in around the core here. Doesn't get quite as many bowlers, I think, as he wanted to get to the core there. Um, you know, still has that free spell. He's probably going to drop it here any second on the Expo and the Inferno. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for everything else to get in range here, I guess. I thought he was going to drop it earlier there. <clears throat> Rage goes down, right? You're going to protect those bowlers. Down goes the freeze. Now, there it goes. See you later. Just going to smash through these buildings. Unfortunately, the Inferno doesn't go down right away, but it doesn't matter. It's just not enough. Queen finally locks on. Down it goes. See you later, Inferno. Really, there's only the 6 o'clock section of this base to go. Bam, bam, bam. Miners are in, just doing their work. I think they basically took out, the miners took out this whole section. They, he didn't get as much value out of this one as that last raid we watched, but um, still, they're just such a good unit. Like, like I love the miner. Like, miner's my favorite unit. I think they're, I think they're just like the perfect, they might even, they're a little overpowered, at, you know, watching those 46 miner attacks. I shouldn't say that. They need a little bit of work too. Like, I think if we go miners to six and bowlers to eight and we'll see some very uh, creative strats but i don't know i guess time will tell <clears throat> last tack of the day pop a six pack is this an invicta recap 
I just showed South fans, Big Papa, Big Papa. <laughs> Love it. Anyhow, let's send in some Giants. Let's send them some Bowlers. Let's send in some Healers. Create a funnel. Nice and easy. Everything move in. Let's drop a poison for those CC troops. Let that queen take that out. Why don't we hit the Grand Warden ability so nothing gets touched by the CC troops. Everything smashes into those uh, Infernos. Down it goes. Freeze goes down. Oop. Just like usual. All the pullers routing into the core. Smash, smash, smash. Down goes the Clan Castle. Down goes the Inferno Tower. Bowlers just getting good value. Healers under the raid, still keeping everything up. Does lose a little bit over there, right? The king locked on, right? Had the Tesla in there, but doesn't matter. It's got enough stuff moving through the core here. He's got to take care of that expo. Little, you know, two cannons, two archer towers on the outside here. Expo goes down. Got two healers on that queen left. Got miners in there working on that cannon. They are just a bane of point defense right now. Got a sliver of health left on that cannon. The miner couldn't finish it up, but doesn't matter. This queen is definitely going to as soon as she finally busts through that wall. Down goes the arch tower. Wish he had like one queen of troops. If he had a wizard right now on that cannon, how clutch would that be? But we're going to fast forward this because it's definitely going to be a tree star in the bag. 30 seconds to go. Down goes that cannon. Let's work on a wall. Beautiful. Big P with this six pack down in Invicta. Looking good. All right, guys. Just want to get this recap in. Um, you know, uh, Invicta just matched up against, let's check it, Dust Dominion. So this is going to be a really good war. Definitely get the recap in on this. Full, full, full recap on this. Uh, should be a good war. We need a little revenge on these guys. We had a very poor performance our last uh, last. Um, outing against dd but uh let's see how she goes here i'm excited to see this i'm not in this war unfortunately but who knows maybe i'll even uh, be able to sneak in tomorrow night and get some uh, live attacks for you guys anyhow that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help it bag that next tree star till then i'm out